Hey everybody, it's Coach Jody, Coach Andy here. We got Thanksgiving coming up, and Thanksgiving can be one of the most stressful holidays if you're trying to stay on track with your nutrition. But I'm not here to talk to you about what you should eat on Thanksgiving because basically it's the same things you should be eating the rest of the year, or if you feel like you need a cheat meal and that's in your plan, you should go for that. I'm gonna to talk to you about the emotional component, which is huge at Thanksgiving, dealing with other people and what they think about your lifestyle. So we're gonna talk about three of the most difficult personalities that you're probably gonna run into at that Thanksgiving table. The first one is the person that I like to call the pusher. The pusher will uh, try to get you to go off track on your nutrition. They'll tell you that one day doesn't matter. So it'll go, I'm gonna role play this. Sandy's gonna be my eater and I'm gonna be the pusher. So the pusher will say, hey, you know, you should have some cookies. It's only one day. It's not gonna hurt anything. You know what? You deserve this treat. It's one day out of the year. It's Thanksgiving, for God's sake. Have some ice cream. Um, how about a pie? Come on, you're killing me. You gotta have a pie. It's it's only one day. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, on my next helping, I will try to eat a little bit of this. It looks pretty good. So what Andy did right there was kind of deflected. He offered an option. He said maybe he would try it in the next go around. He didn't get all bent out of shape because he felt he didn't get defensive about it. That's always a good strategy pretty much with any confrontation. So the second type of person that you may meet is the person that I like to call the professor. They're the guy or the girl that thinks they know way more than you about food and they're going to question everything about your nutrition plan. So for example, I could go something like this. Oh, so Andy, I hear you've been going to the gym and you're following some new diet or something. What are you doing? Um, it's called paleo. Paleo! You're going to die. Your kidneys are going to fail. That's the worst thing ever. You need to be doing what I'm doing. I'm doing a strict diet of uh, lettuce leaves and yogurt. This is the way to go. This will not only make you lose weight, this is going to cleanse your colon and, and your liver and make you live longer. Wow. Well, um... I definitely will look into that. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I think that that's a good option. Tell them, yeah, you'll look into it, and then you know, you can uh, throw away throw away the parts that don't make any sense because that really didn't make any sense at all. But there are always people that are gonna think they know better than you and know better than your coach. So just be prepared for that. Now, the third person I think is the most annoying because it sounds like they're trying to help you or that they're proud of you, but really they're just putting you on the spot and trying to um, call attention to you in a way that may or may not be flattering. And I call that person the promoter. So it'll go like this. It'll go, oh, Andy, you look so great, huh? You've been doing some dieting. Hey, everybody, Andy's on this like health kick. So don't try to give him any of that, that green bean casserole because he, you know, he's Mr. Healthy. That's not me. I'm over here doing my thing, but he's, not, he's, he's a little bit better than the rest of us. He's going to just be, so, aren't you, you're just going to be so good this Thanksgiving, Andy. I just, I, it's so impressed. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate it. Um, that was very nice. But uh, does anybody want to go watch some football? <laughs> yeah, change the subject. It went in doubt. Did, ask about the football game, um, politics. It's almost less inflammatory than dealing with nutrition. So those are some of the kind of people that you'll meet. But you know, you have a responsibility too at Thanksgiving. Whatever you're doing with your diet, your diet is never an excuse to be an asshole. So do not go into your Thanksgiving dinner and start looking at people's plates and judging what they're eating or going on and on about, oh, that's going to, you know, that's a terrible choice or, you know, they don't want to hear it. Thanksgiving's about friends and family and being grateful. It's not about how well that you stick to your macronutrients necessarily. Nobody wants to hear it. So go enjoy your Thanksgiving. Even the difficult people have a great holiday and go get them, guys.